The Los Angeles home best known as the abode of Nancy Thompson in A Nightmare on Elm Street has been sold for $2.98 million. Don't let the sunny facade fool you. Horror fans know this home well. It's a bright spot of the shady, tree-lined Elm Street and, most notably, the hunting ground for one striped sweater-wearing killer. Or it was, as the focal point of the hidden nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger haunted this home in the original film, invading a young Thompson's dreams, though off-camera it belonged to Los Angeles suburbanites and at least one filmmaker. And now, it's been given a new life again, the iconic home just sold for nearly $3 million, according to Realtor. Com, where the home was listed. And, according to the site, that's about 98% more expensive than nearby homes, a stat that would spook even Freddy. The three-bedroom Dutch colonial got a major facelift in the years since Wes Craven's 1984 film was released, though its exterior remained the same. But the rest of the home was reimagined by an English designer in the mid-2000s, so it's brighter, wider and airier than the famous movie Monster would have liked. All egregiously 80s flourishes have been replaced, and the door, once blood red, is now painted a stately black. The house from a nightmare on Elm Street is for sale, if you have the guts to buy it. The home used to belong to Hustlers director Laureen Scafaria, who bought it in 2013, according to the Los Angeles Times. It originally hit the market in the fall at $3.25 million, and, in a nod to the home's cinematic history, offers were due by midnight on Halloween, the California paper reported. And it all comes with a guest house, one that fans of comedian Bo Burnham might recognize as the setting of his acclaimed special, Inside. Burnham camped out in the Petit Abode during the pandemic to create the claustrophobic work, though it looks much less menacing in listing photos.